A group of Hampton Roads fishermen made what they call a once in a lifetime catch. Oh, you bet. They reeled in an OPA fish last week, and its size could be record worthy. Penny, your size, Gina Revelo, spoke with the group, and she has more on one incredible catch. Tom and Anita, the men tell me they still can't believe their luck. OPA is also known as moonfish, and according to Noah, not much is known about them. However, they average about 100 pounds. This fish definitely topped that. Just like they've done before, John Weatherington, Michael McTaggart, and Nick Kemp charted out to sea on Thursday, but this fishing trip ended up being one they'll never forget. It was definitely a surreal moment for all of us. The men had spent hours near the Norfolk Canyon, about 80 miles off the Virginia Beach coast, hoping to hook swordfish. And it drops down from about 300 to 6,000 feet. Just as they were giving up hope, a tug on the line. Using a hand crank, the fight began. Start seeing like this just way down, this, you know, the silver color basically. They couldn't believe what took the bait. And then all of a sudden we got the full glimpse of an orange opa. They start yelling opa and I think, what are these clowns talking about? <laughs> According to Noah, this deep ocean fish is typically found in tropical or temperate waters, more commonly on the West Coast, Hawaii, and other Pacific islands. It's also the only known fully warm-blooded fish. Then you realize, oh, you know, this is a, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime shot. Once they got over the initial shock, they jumped into action. It took the anglers about 45 minutes to get the fish onto the boat. You know, we we each took turns, you know, picking it up, taking pictures with it. It happens. I mean, you know, we kind of. Hit all the other boats up on the radio, and I think even they thought we were wrong. They weighed their prize at Rudy's Inlet Marina. The fish tipped the scales at a whopping 143 pounds. The men believe this may be the first OPA catch on record in Virginia. While they wait to find out, they're celebrating their luck by sharing the fish with others in the sport. This is just a piece of the dream. It could have happened to anybody. But it didn't happen to us, so yep. you take that as a win. We are also waiting to hear back from the Virginia Marine Resources Commission about whether this is, in fact, a record catch. We'll let you know what they tell us. Gina Arevalo, Tid on your side.